हेलो ब्यूटीफुल पीपल वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल वंस अगेन विथ अनदर न्यू व्लॉग फ्राम जनरल माइक्रोबायोलॉजी पार्ट वन फ्राम आवर प्रिपरेशन सीरीज सो फ्राम टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू अपलोड अ डेली व्लॉग फॉर यूर प्रिपरेशन सीरीज एंड आफ्टर एवरी पार्ट आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू वन प्रैक्टिस सेशन ऑल्सो फ्राम द सेम टॉपिक विच आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग सो इट विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू वंस यू गो थ्रू माई वीडियोज फॉर द लेक्चर देन आफ्टर यू कैन गो थ्रू द प्रैक्टिस सेशन ऑल्सो सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल कीप सपोर्टिंग मी एंड लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विथ अवर टूडेज सो फ्रेंड्स हियर वी आर टू डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग द पार्ट्स ऑफ माइक्रोस्कोप सो एज यू कैन सी दिस इज अ माइक्रोस्कोप हियर ऑन द टॉप यू विल बी हैविंग हेड दिस पार्ट ऑफ द माइक्रोस्कोप इज कॉल्ड एज हेड हियर यू हैव टू आई पीसेस दैट इज ऑक्यूलर लेंस सम ऑफ द माइक्रोस्कोप दे विल हैविंग ओनली वन आई पीस एंड सम ऑफ द माइक्रोस्कोप दे विल हैविंग टू आई पीसेस विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज ऑक्यूलर लेंस and next you can see the diopter adjustment where you can adjust the lens and you have a nose piece you have objective lenses and the next is you have a stage clip okay you have mechanical stage this is what you called as condenser here is the illumination here is the light switch where you can on and off the light switch this is your base this is the brightness adjustment if you want if you need more brightness then you can adjust for the brightness here you are having the two kinds of adjustment one is coarse adjustment and one is fine adjustment so first when you observe the slide under the microscope you will go for the coarse adjustment when you find the uh, microorganisms or any particle when you know come to know the uh, uh, what are the things you can uh, observe in the microscope after setting in the coarse adjustment you can just adjust the fine adjustment so first adjustment we will be doing on the microscope is coarse adjustment then we are going for fine adjustment and here you are having a stage controls this is aperture and this is how, where we can hold the microscope which is called as arm or frame so these are the important the most important parts of the microscope are eye pieces lenses uh, light and the brightness adjustment coarse and fine adjustment also so these are the very important parts of microscope so as you all know that you can see here three types of magnification in the microscope so the compound microscope the the microscope which you are seeing in the picture is in compound microscope so for this kind of compound microscope you will be having three or four magnification you will be having okay mostly they are having the three kinds of magnifications that is 40x 100x and uh, 10x okay friends so first we have to observe almost the organism on 10x after that we can focus it on 40x and rarely we will be using the 100x okay so these are the three types of magnification mostly we will be using in the compound microscope so now you will be having a question regarding why we are using compound uh, compound microscope and why it is called as compound microscope so the common light microscope used common light uh, uh, common light is nothing but where we are using it by electricity okay in the laboratory is called as a compound microscope because it contains two types of lens that function to magnify an object so here the lens closest to the eye is called the ocular while the lens closest to the object is called an objective so you have the two lens one is objective that is ocular and the second uh, sorry one is ocular lens which is close to your eye and one is close to the object if it is close to the object for that we are calling it as objective and which is close to the eye we are calling it as ocular okay friends so friends this is regarding your regarding your parts of microscope as you all know that we use a microscope to observe the different kinds of bacteria and like different kinds of microorganisms okay so the most important we are using is a compound microscope to observe the micro 
organism so this is your parts of microscope and now we will be studying the microscopes different types of microscopes and their microscopy okay now we have a question why we are doing the microscopy as we all know we are using the microscope only for the observation of different kinds of bacteria and microorganism but in microscopy also we have some of the main important following purposes what are those purposes let's see here the first purpose for the microscopy is magnification of an object maximization of resolution and optimization optimization is nothing but improve or enhance the contrast between structure organism and background so these are the three important uh, purposes why we are doing the microscopy so the following types of microscopes are being employed for the study of the bacteria other than compound microscope also we have a different kinds of microscopes which we are using for different purposes now let's study the different kinds of microscopes and also their uh, specialization for which purpose we are using which kind of microscopes so first microscope uh, we will study today is optical or light microscope it contains light source and compound lens system why we are using optical light microscope is nothing but it has the resolve resolving power ability of lens system of the lens system to distinguish between the two object as separate one so here its speciality for the optical light microscope is to distinguish between the two objects as a separated one the second one is the phase contrast microscope it improves the contrast and makes evident the internal structure of cell which differ in the thickness thickness or refractive index so the phase contrast we are using because to differ in the thickness and the refractive index the third type of microscope is dark field that is dark ground microscope the lens of this microscope appears as self luminous against dark background so here we are using dark field microscopy itself says that we are using it for the against the luminescence against dark background example for this kind of microscope why we are using to observe which organism is example is triponema pallidum the next microscope is interference microscope useful for revealing cell organelles and for quantitative measurement of chemical constituent cells such as lipids proteins and nucleic acid next microscope is fluorescent microscope it has been employed for the detection of antigens and antibodies okay friends and the next last microscope is electron microscope it is specially used for rapid detection of virus in clinical samples so here we have studies we have studied it the parts of microscope and what is microscopy and what are the different kinds of microscope we are using as you have seen that we have a six different kinds of microscope with their uh, speciality in the observation okay friends so this is regarding your mic parts of microscope and microscopy in this video next we will be studying regarding the morphology of bacteria morphology of bacteria it's uh, nothing but its shape structure uh, of the bacteria which you will observe in the microscope how they will appear so different kinds of bacteria is having different kinds of shape and structures so now let's get started with the morphology of the bacteria now the morphology of the bacteria are bacteria may be in the cocci shape bacilli shape and also also in the spiral shape and some of the bacteria they are having a comma shape which we are also calling it as a vibrio shape okay friends so here coco coccus that is round in shape diplococcus is nothing but diplo is two in a round shape attached and tetrad sarsina staphylococci and streptococci if the bacteria in the coccus form if they are attached in a uh, chain form then you can uh, see those type of bacterias in streptococci if they are attached in a 
tetrads form then you can call it as a staphylococci so these are the arrange arrangements of coccus bacteria cocci bacteria now the arrangement of bacilli bacilli is also called as rod shaped bacteria here you have bacillus diplobacillus is nothing but two rod shaped bacteria attached one and streptobacilli is a long chain bacillus you have palisades and you have also have a coco bacilli now arrangements of spiral as you can see spirochetes spirilla helical shaped or crocsy form and the vibrio shape which is also called as a comma shape and some of the bacteria will also be in a chinese letter form example for this chinese letter is corny bacterium uh, dipteria dipteri so this is your morphology of the bacteria bacteria's morphology is of actually three types as you can remember uh, cocci bacilli tet and spiral these three are the different kinds of uh morphology of the bacteria okay friends so in this video we have discussed regarding first important thing regarding the uh, microscope parts of microscope then microscopy and uh, different kinds of microscopy how many types of microscopes we are using and then the morphology if you observe under the microscope regarding the microorganism morphology you will be having a different kinds of uh, morphology of bacteria like cocci bacilli spiral and vibrio so this is your brief introduction for the general microbiology topic so i hope you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel keep supporting me i will be back with the part 2 for general microbiology soon uh, till then keep supporting me thank you friends